Hi everyone, welcome to Kids Church today. I hope you are keeping really well. Today we've got loads of exciting things to do today and I hope you'll really enjoy it. It's David and Goliath that we're looking at, which you can read in the Bible in 1 Samuel 17. And our craft that we're going to do is um, making some giants of our own. So I want you to find a biscuit and ice it or melt chocolate and put it on top. I only had chocolate. This is my Goliath biscuit. So I've melted some chocolate and I've used some sweeties to stick two eyes and a big scary mouth. And then you can defeat your Goliath, your giant, your scary thing in your life by having a nice little munch. And you've defeated it and you've won the victory. Just like Jesus won the victory and helped David defeat Goliath. We're going to watch a story and I hope you enjoy it and then we're going to come back and we're going to pray. So enjoy the story. Let us see your creations. We'd love to see what you've been doing. You can Facebook us, you can WhatsApp us, you can uh, email us at melchionbaptistchurch at gmail.com. We'd love to hear you. We'd also really want to know how you're doing and what we can pray for you. So do get in touch. Enjoy the story and we'll see you in a minute. The Young Giant Slayer There was a young boy called David. What do you think his job might have been? Well, he was a shepherd. He was the youngest of all his brothers, and all of his older brothers had left to go to the army. Well, the army of the Israelites were currently at war with the Philistines. The Israelites were lined up on the hill, and the Philistines were on the other hill, and they were looking at each other, wondering what would happen next. <laughs> Then, out from the Philistines' camp, stepped a man who looked like a giant. He was about three metres tall. He cried out, Rather than all of us fight, send one man to fight me. If he wins, I'll surrender to you. But if I win, you must surrender to me. He was bigger than any man they had ever seen before. So King Saul was really scared and didn't know what to do. Back in the fields where David was watching the sheep, David's dad gave him some bread and cheese and said, Take it to your brothers and see how the battle is going. David reached the army just as the armies were lining up and facing each other. Then, out from the Philistines' camp, stepped Goliath. <coughs> Goliath cried out again, Rather than all of us fighting, send one man to fight me. If he wins, I'll surrender to you. But if I win, you surrender to me. David didn't realise this had been happening for 40 days. So he tapped his brother on the shoulder and said, Who's going to fight Goliath? People don't realise. He's not just insulting us, but he's insulting the one true living God. Shh! His brother said, Be quiet! You're not a part of the army. But David knew that God was more powerful than anything else. So people had no need to be worried about anything. God is the same as well today. God actually came down to earth to win the victory over all. He sent Jesus, his son, to die on the cross so that we could know him and that he could do anything for us if we trust him. But he's not still dead on the cross. He's alive today and we can have that amazing relationship with Jesus. Well, David was not happy that no one would fight Goliath. So he went to King Saul himself and said, I'll fight Goliath. King Saul looked at young small David and said he couldn't fight Goliath because he was not a warrior. He wasn't in the army. He was a child. But David said, God is always with me. When I look after my sheep, I fight lions to protect them. God will be with me when I fight Goliath. So King Saul agreed to let David go and fight Goliath. King Saul even gave David his very own armour but David couldn't even stand I can't go in these he said I need to go and use what God has given me so David took off the armour and took his staff his sling and five small stones and went to face Goliath when Goliath saw David had come to fight he was furious what does no one want to come and fight with me? Do you think that I'm a dog that you can come to me and fight with sticks? David replied calmly, 
you come at me with a sword and a javelin, but all I need to defeat you is God himself. He is on my side today and I am going to defeat you because you have defied God and then I am going to cut your head off. As Goliath approached, David ran out to meet him because he was not afraid and he knew that God was with him. David placed a stone in his sling and swung it round his head. Once. Twice. Three times. And then he let the stone go and it flew through the air and hit Goliath straight in the middle of the forehead. Goliath collapsed and fell to the floor. Philistines were so scared they ran away as fast as they could. David could win because he trusted in God. We too can have the best life and be winners by trusting in God. We might not be able to defeat giants, but we can overcome everything we face if we trust and hope in God because he is always with us and hears all our prayers. So I hope you enjoyed that story. It's a great one and it teaches us loads today and helps us remember that God is always with us. A great Bible verse to remember is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. And that's from Proverbs 3 verse 5. So see if you can remember that. Maybe even create it and show me your pictures of your creations. Remember we want to see your um, biscuits that you've created, your Goliath creations. And if you can create a memory verse of trusting the Lord with all your heart, that'd be great too. Two more things before we finish. First one is that you never throw stones. I know David threw a stone, but it was for a very special circumstance and we don't do that today in our life because it's really dangerous. So please don't throw ever stones. We can watch and listen with our ears in the story, but we don't do that today. And finally, we need to pray to finish our section. So we're going to do our prayer drill and then we're going to do something a bit different. I need you to go and find a torch or some kind of thing that will shine or um, be bright. So fairy lights or a torch. I'm going to use my phone. There it is. And we're going to do our prayer drill and then we're going to get our phone and cover it. And then when we're going to pray, we're going to ask God to help us shine even in our scary, difficult situations. And then we're going to pray and um, close our prayer. So go and find a torch, pause the video and find a torch or fairy light and we're gonna pray. Let's pray. Tickle your shoulders ready. When you hear the number one, you shoot your arms out, do you remember? Two, you fold them and three, I will pray. Listen in for the number, oh, didn't say anything. Number, oh, one thing by the way, Aha, did I get anyone? <laughs> um, listen in for number one, two, three, Father God, I pray that in any situation that we feel we have a Goliath in our life, Lord, that you will help us shine really brightly, that we will defeat, just like you helped David defeat Goliath, that we will shine brightly and defeat the Goliath in our life. Lord, you rose from the dead. You sent Jesus to die for us and you to die for our sins and you rose again to life. So we know that we can do all things in you who give us strength. Keep us safe, help us to enjoy all that we're doing and bless us, we pray. In your precious name, amen. We're going to do a new amen. Amen. Happy day, have a happy day. Thanks for joining us in Kids Church and we'll see you soon. God bless.